flowing. And yes. you, look at, you look at all this shit going around, and you got to bring it up because it's 2020. You got fucking COVID-19. And I will say that it, you know, oh, point to the data. Look, there's data. I'm not going to fucking cite it every time I fucking say it. But, mm-hmm. dude, comorbidities are the main reason people are passing from this disease. Yes. And the main reason they have the main comorbidity is obesity or yeah. obesity-related issues. Yeah. And not only is bodybuilding great for, like, we walk out in public and we look big and powerful and muscular. And that's not that's not ego. That's just fucking truth. Like I'm sure you get stopped all the time by women wanting to feel your arms or dude wanting to feel your ass. Whatever. That's just <laughs> that's just me. Um, so so the thing is, what we found with with these these viruses that we didn't think about. We used to get the flu. It was just because we were unlucky. But we found that people who are in shape and healthy, this virus that's killed so many people. I'm not downplaying the virus. You have a 99.96 per chance percent chance of surviving it. We have more of a chance of lightning striking us than dying of COVID with our fitness level, with our age is a huge issue. Obviously, the older you are, the more susceptible you are from dying of shit. So, but if you're a healthy older person, you have a better um, better chance of surviving. And it's not just COVID; it's the flu, dude. Um, in 2015. I was bedridden for five days because I had hand, foot, and mouth disease. One in a million adults can get it. But when adults get it, bro, I couldn't walk. My fucking hands like fell off. My nails fell off. It was horrible. And if I wasn't as healthy as I am, it would have rocked my world. And it did. But COVID's the same way. And we've, you know, Matt's had it, you know, in the high, and he didn't, even, you know, he worked through it at that time. They didn't have I caught it too. Go ahead. That, I mean, yeah. that, that was back in March, just putting that out there. So I don't No, they didn't, shit. they, they, they like, weren't able to test him. They, they he, put me on hold. They were like, yeah, you qualify for a test. And then they called me back two weeks later to get the test. And by that point I was yeah, the healthy on a rooftop working in New York city. Yeah, so so the the main thing is so not only mentally is bodybuilding the greatest thing for us and you, or ex, let's go exercise. For some it might be CrossFit, for some it might be Jazzercise, for some it might be P90X, for some it might be hockey. Exercise and finding that mode of physical movement, of physical exertion that makes you happy is the single best physical and mental thing you can do for yourself. Bodybuilding saved your life. Bodybuilding, I mean, I can guarantee you this. It, it, when, when I found weights, it was when I was in a bad spot doing some bad things with some bad people when I was a teenager. And bodybuilding, I've said it many times on my channel, it saved my life. I mean, when I first started dealing with my mental health issues when I was 18, going through depression, first thing I did was join a gym. And it is understated the importance of exercise. And that's why we post things. And we're not, I'm not a PhD. But I posted something today like, look, COVID's fucking real. Okay, I'm not saying it's not real. For us, I'm more worried about a fucking flu, to be honest with you. That's just me from my educated experience and from someone who's been around COVID. You know what I mean? But, but. I posted simply, here's some vitamins. You should take vitamins and minerals. I didn't say minerals once, although that's a mineral. I'm like, shut the fuck up. Vitamin C, quercetin, zinc, vitamin D. Simple, under $20 a month to take the recommended doses. People are like, you're not an expert. I'm like, I know. I'm not, but I'm right. They're antivirals. And if you combine that with healthy diet, exercise, not being fat, unfucking yourself is what I call it when you're not fat. Get unfat, unfuck yourself. And you will be in a better spot. We're all going to get sick. Everyone is either going to get the vaccine if it works, because I don't, I don't know shit about fuck about that. And everyone's going to get COVID. We're all going to, we've all had the flu. We're all going to fucking get COVID. Everybody has a story. I haven't had the flu for six years. You still had the fucking flu. COVID's here and it's here to stay. So what I'm trying to do is use my expertise in health, in fitness, to get you not to prevent getting COVID, not to prevent getting sick, but to hopefully put you in a better position for your body to fight off not just COVID, but other bacterial and viral invaders of your body. And you do that through diet, training, supplementation, things like that. And for some reason we say that, people get really mad. Well, you're not an expert. Well, who the fuck are you? 
And also, like, what is an expert? Fauci's been wrong 100% of the time. The motherfucker told us in March, masks don't work. Now he's telling us we need to wear masks. Okay, that's great. He said that schools need to close. Today he came out and said schools need to open. The difference is I've been 100% correct about all of this. And a lot of fitness people have. And you've been consistent. I'm not, look, and if I'm proven wrong, I'm proven wrong. But so far, the experts appear to have an ulterior motive. I don't know what that motive is. I don't have access to the Illuminati. I don't know (laughs) what the fuck is going on. But what really fucking gets me is that I am, this is my fucking lane. My lane is health and fitness. Your lane is health and fitness. If we can't give our opinion on alternative ways to boost your immune system, we're not saying it replaces the vaccine. We're saying that, hey. And we're not saying by doing this, you won't get COVID. You're going to get fucking COVID. I'm going to say this for the record. (laughs) Either through a vaccine, which is basically giving you, in a way, I know it's mRNA. I'm not getting into science. You're basically giving yourself a small dose of COVID to build up antibodies. Or something similar that makes your body produce the COVID antibodies. Okay. Or you're going to fucking get it. And you might get it this year, next year, and the year after. You might get it this year and never get it again. You might not get it for another six years. Every motherfucker watching this is either going to get COVID or get the vaccine. So I'm just telling you, instead of fucking getting horrible side effects, and I'm not saying it's going to work, but no one's going to fucking die of taking a recommended daily dose of vitamin D and vitamin fucking C. Why not just take it? Instead, these elitist, pompous fucks, are like, well, what's your fucking, what, where's your studies? What's your this? What's your that? Vitamin C is a fucking antiviral. There's more papers on that shit than there is fucking paper at a paper mill, you dumb fucks. It's not rocket science. They have antiviral activity. If the virus is prevented from replicating in the body, that's a good fucking thing. If a virus gets in, what's it do? What's a virus do? It goes viral, like a picture, like if Chris posted a nude on Instagram. (laughs) Shit would go viral. What does going viral mean? You can't fucking stop it. Unless you put an antiviral in there, and then you can slow it down. You're still going to fucking get it. We're all getting COVID. Let's not all stay inside. Look, no matter what we do, the delivery guy who brings you your fucking Chipotle is going to have it. Somebody's going to fucking have it. You're going to have to go to the grocery store. And by the way, cloth masks, if they work, it's very minimal. And you're still going to fucking get it because you have eyes. And you have ears and other things that it can go to. And if you have a mask, you're touching it with your hands all the fucking time. If you have gloves on your hands, unless you change it every time you touch something, your gloves are going to spread the virus. So listen, let's be safe and real. We need to protect the elderly and us younger folk. We need to take all the precaution we can. We need to be healthy. We need to be in shape. We need to diet right. We need to eat right. Do the best we can. We need to supplement with vitamins that might help. And then we get it, we want to put ourselves in the best position to beat it as quickly as possible. Yes, sir. I just had to rant about that. The IRI bar was created for my kids. My kids need a snack to eat during soccer tournaments. And also, I wanted a bar for myself to eat pre-workout, post-workout, and also throughout the day. You want your outright bars right now. That's why we have a partnership going with The Vitamin Shop to make sure that we're in all 750 plus locations, providing the best price, the best service, the best people to give you the outright bar when and where you need it.